<sighs> so, as I was telling you, whenever I am sitting in front of the class, she'll be at the back, right? And she'll squeeze a piece of paper and every time I'm paying attentively to the classes, she will stop. <laughs> she will send a piece of paper at me. And me being the serious student that I am, <laughs> I will report to the teacher. I'll be like, excuse me, sir. That girl at the back. And she's my best friend. <laughs> oh my God. Those were the days. What is it? Are you okay? Angie. Yeah. Will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? I, 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 I don't know. Just say yes. Huh? Look, I know you might not be ready for this, but I promise we'll take it one step at a time. Okay. <laughs> so that's a yes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you got engaged? Honestly, it came as a shocker to me. And you accept it? Babe. Angela, you should have said no. I wanted to say no. But the guy was too fast. I don't even think I said yes. And you know Richard is not ready for marriage. Baby, it's been six years, six whole years with that guy. And I doubt he's even thinking about getting married. Babe, Benson is my friend. Not just a friend. Benson is a wonderful person. Okay? Now, the real question is... Do you love him? What kind of a question is that? How can you even ask me that? Why won't I? A whole you out of everyone. You are aware that Richard is the one I love. Then don't do it. Babe, not, not to Benson. Benson is my friend. Grace, I am your friend. To try and be in my corner. The pressure to get married from my family is just too much. So I am doing it so they can leave me alone. Plus, Benson is rich. That's a bonus. Who doesn't want to be a rich man's wife? I'll grow in love with him while I'm married. Hopefully. Angela. <sighs> Angela. What? Huh. I am so happy. Eh? In fact, my heart is filled with so much joy <laughs> that at last this friendship is taking you people to a more beautiful, responsible stage. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. My children, nothing is as sweet as marriage, especially when you have it with the right partner. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Ma, I consider myself very lucky to have Angie. Not just you. <laughs> Both of you are blessed having each other. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and with your blessings and consent, I would like to come with my people for the traditional marriage rites. Oh, yeah, kid, you are you. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> eh? Do that at once. Ah, there is no more time. Eh? Honestly, I cannot wait to dance on your wedding day. Let alone wait for another, you know, time to be invited for Mugo. <laughs> no, not at all. All right, man, no problem. I'll discuss with my people and we'll get back to you on our plan. Go ahead and do that first. I am hoping to hear from you soonest. <laughs> so... <laughs> Look at you. Do you know what we're talking about? In advance, once again, 
my wonderful in law. Thank you so much. Oh, Kogo. Oh, Kogo. Let me get something for you, okay? No problem. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Oh. Oh. So sweet. sweet. Yes, she is. <laughs> wow. Baby. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to come with me? Hmm? Mm -hmm. I'd like to, but let me just stay with my mom for a few days. There's <clears throat> so much to do. We have a lot to catch up on. We have to go see my uncle for the least. There's, there's just so much. I can imagine. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I can't wait to make you mine. <laughs> soon, baby. Very soon. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> since you're staying back, I'm going to send you some money, all right? And if you need more, do not hesitate to call me, okay? <laughs> okay. Done? Oh my god, babe, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Baby. Thank oh. you. Oh, you're welcome, my love. Thank you. Um... Yeah, she's making us food, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, maybe after eating, then I'll take off. Why are you looking at me like that? Because I love you. I know. <laughs> and you're an idiot. Okay, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> so, um, I didn't know you were coming today. I wanted to surprise you. Hmm. I am surprised. <laughs> but I was calling you yesterday, so we were not taking your calls. I was even going to come to your house today to see you, because I was worried about you. Hey. What? You know, you don't always have to come to my house every time you do not see me for one hour. Babe. One hour, Richard. Babe. You know, I always have to come to your house every time I cannot reach your phone. <laughs> I was worried about you, that's it. Mm, I'm okay. You sure? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I bet let's go. <laughs> mm. <sighs> so, how is uh, Thomas doing? <clears throat> Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Thomas is at the warehouse, they are offloading goods. You sent me money? I did. <laughs> for what? What do you mean for what? I want you to get some nice clothes, get a haircut, and just look good for me. Yes, but the last time I checked you, you don't have a job, so... Okay, so you want to give me my money back? Do you want to give... Well, let me transfer it myself. Calm down. <laughs> Why should calm down? You want, you want the money. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Can we go now? <laughs> okay. Today is full of surprises then. Mm -hmm. hmm. Um, can we go over to my place? Your place? Yes. Ah. <laughs> Let's go over to my place now. Look, my boss wife is not around. And I told them that I was going to go out to clear debts today, so I have a whole day to myself. I don't want Wahala. I don't, I don't want to start running and hiding. <laughs> you don't have to run and hide. I will carry you inside the house. Hey. What? Your sister is not around, I believe. <laughs> I don't want Wahala. <laughs> what are you doing? Gonna, oh my God, see, this guy. I'm going to carry you to the house. I will clamber your head. <laughs> I will clamber your head. Help me. You are silly. You know you were squeaking like a rat. I will clamber your head. You are silly. Oh my god. I will clamber your head. You are silly. You are silly. What did I do? Bring me a nonsense. I was talking to my uncle. And, uh,. He assured me that he was going to settle me in two months' time. Hmm. 
he assured me he was going to settle me. And when that is done, I, I intend to get a house in the city, start up my own business and uh, come see your family. Baby, this is the same thing you have been saying for the past seven months. Seriously, is it not obvious that this man is not willing to settle you? Isn't it? Baby, don't say anything like that. Chiffy Kenga is my uncle, okay? He's my mom's brother. Besides, he's been settling other people. I don't see why my own would be so difficult. Are you kidding me? Let me just be patient a little bit. Are you kidding me? Honestly, babe, I feel super bad for you. Because how can you blindly trust that man? Even though it is clear, like it is obvious, this man will not settle you. But you're just foolishly, blindly trusting him. I don't get it. <sighs> Please calm down, okay? You're already angry. You're raising your voice. You're, you know, we should be communicating to understand ourselves. Baby, I don't like this. Look. I don't like it. The excuse, it's getting too much. Okay, fine, fine. Look. In two months time, if he doesn't settle me, then I will go and confront him. Okay? <laughs> you better. You better. Because you know I do not have time. Baby, I am not aging backwards for heaven's sake. There's no time. You're not aging at all. But I am. You're a timeless beauty, you know that, right? Don't wash me. I'm I need to get right. married and start having babies. How many babies do you want to have? Plenty. Let's make one. Like now. a whole full body. Let's make one now. Or a village. Let's start. Let's start now. <laughs> Look at you. Baby, moment ago, no, no, no. Moments ago, you wanted to eat me up, but now you're telling me. And you're I still have want me. to eat you up. And I, I will eat you up if you don't behave yourself. Look, you have no idea how much I eat you. Okay, 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 okay. so ashamed of you. Angela, you're a huge disgrace. A very big one. What are you still doing with that good-for-nothing low life? Tell me, Angela, were you not the same girl that introduced Benson to me as your future husband? Mommy, my Richard is not a good-for-nothing boy, please. Will you shut up before I sound it back to you? Rubbish. Angela, be careful. Be careful before that useless boy ruins your life. Angela, if you don't stay away from that boy, honestly, you will have yourself to blame. Come on, get out of my sight. I, I, I'm on Pam. Don't worry. I will be here watching you. I will tell you I'm not going to tell you that you are going to tell you that Angela, your mother is absolutely correct. Stay away from Richard and focus on the man you have his ring on your finger. I can't. I am trying so hard. Believe me. Richard has grown so much on me that... 
Getting rid of him would feel like life without air. Then return his ring. Return Benson's ring. Grace, I cannot do that. I want to be married. Really? Yes. You want to be married? Yes. Girl, that is not nice. Why will you do that when your heart clearly beats for another man? This is wrong. But I've told you this thing before. I will grow in love with him. It happens now. You're making a mistake. A very big one. Grace, please. I want to be a married woman. I would grow to love Benson. I beg, just leave me alone. Stay the night. Oh, babe, I have to go. There's somewhere I need to be very early in the morning. Somewhere that you can't go from here? Yeah. Richard, now you know I love you, but I have to go. Oh, I'll, no. see you. I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll see you. Let me give you one for the road. Now, what did it happen? Why did you run the sweat like goat? Guy, like, talk to me! What is going on? Nothing. Nothing. You're supposed to act. What did it happen? Okay. What about your girl? Angela just left. Ha! Women! Eh? Women! What's wrong with you now? Why are you shouting at the top of your voice? Richard, as I'm talking to you now, mm. Angela is getting married to another man. Target her. Hey, I'm serious now. The wedding is happening at, the, at, at that court. I'm telling you, it's a court wedding. I saw it. Angela. Yes! My Angela. Yes! Swear. Tell me something I swear again, girl. Tell me something I swear again, swear. now. Okay, I, I swear! Richard! Hey! Can you imagine that? A, a, a woman who will be, 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 be built another man a night before her wedding. How? How? Yeah. What will I do now? What have I done to deserve this? Did I not show her that I loved her? Was I not working hard? Why would she decide to do me this way? What do I do now? Where do I go? Who do I turn to? Ah! I'm finished. Ah, Richard, you're finished. You're finished. She couldn't even tell me. She think I wouldn't have understood. Why? And you why? After everything we've been through, why? Why would you do me this way? Ah. Angie. 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 Yeah. Kill. What's up? Are you okay? Mm hmm? Mm. I am perfect. But you just go carried away. It's it's nothing, really. I hope you know you're a very lucky girl. Right? Yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> Look, Benson loves you so much. You're now married to him. And you forget about the past. Feed yourself of all the memories you have of Richard. And give you all to this new beautiful life you have. Look, Benson is a very good guy. 
I have known him for decades. And I'm super excited that you guys are together. Trust me, you won't regret it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So tell me, <clears throat> where will you be going for your honeymoon? Maldives, Monte Carlo, Paris. Where? Auntie Rest. Okay. We have not decided yet. I'll be super excited if you make up your mind to go to Maldives. That place has got a very beautiful serenity. I'm telling you, you will love it. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, sure. Maldives, wherever. I <laughs> God, let's go. Thank you. Okay, I've got something for you. Baby, this is small compared to the plans I have for you. Mm. Okay? <laughs> you deserve everything good. Thank you. But seriously, you've done so much for me already. Babe, what is mine is yours. Okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, why don't you just freshen up and um, I'll get you something to eat. I made your favorite. Mm. Can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> okay. So, how was your day? Um, stressful, very oh. stressful, but it was worth it. I signed a few deals. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. All right, go freshen up. I'll get dinner started. All right. Oh, holy shit. Something wrong? You haven't touched your food yet. I'm okay. I'm just, I'm fine. Mm. I'll be taking a break from work next week so we can plan our honeymoon. Where um, do you want to go to? Um, honey, let's just chill. I'm not really interested. <laughs> Angie. <laughs> Baby, don't push it. I mean, we don't have to have our honeymoon in some exotic place. This house is fine. Let's just do it here. Okay? It's not a big deal. Okay? Yeah. Sure. If that's what you want. Me. You said you wanted to discuss something with me? Oh, um, yes. But it's actually something I've discussed with you before. Um, it's about the clothing line. So, how much are we talking about? Two million naira. Okay, not a problem. Just write your business proposal so I can have a look at it. Business proposal? Yes. I need to know in details what the business is all about. Uh, expenses and the expected profit that won't be a problem right no um of course not i i will get right into it sweet come here <laughs> i love you you know that right? mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Mrs. Benson, hey. Ooh, you look stunning. Do a spin for me. Oh. Ooh, this outfit is giving. Oh, thank you. 
Three spin for me. Oh. Oof. This outfit is giving. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm actually on my way to the shopping mall. I need to do some grocery shopping. And okay. then after that, I will stop by Grace's place. So I might be a little bit late. Okay. I hope that's, that's okay. No, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> um, do you have enough money or you need some more? Oh, no. Yeah. yeah actually, wait. Wait. <clears throat> Mrs. Benson, hey. I just sent you something, okay? I want you to spend my money, <laughs> eat my money, okay? Go shopping, buy some coats for yourself, and buy the whole mall if you want to, hmm. all right? <laughs> Thank you, baby. But honestly, you've sent me enough. I, this is too much. Enough? <laughs> baby, <laughs> come here. I Look, I didn't marry you to spend enough on you. I married you so I could spend excess money on you. Mm. Okay, that's what you deserve. You are a baby <laughs> girl. You deserve the good things of life. Okay. Oh, come here. Mm. I love you. Don't forget that, okay? Okay. I will see you soon. All right. Bye. Bye. Ah. <sighs> have gods coming here after all you've done to me. I I just want to talk. Get out. R Richard, look I know I know that you're angry. But please, let's just talk. I don't want to listen to anything you have to say. Okay? I don't want to hear what you have to say. I don't even know who you are. I mean, this, this, is, this is not the Angela that I knew. So please, before I will do something that will hurt you, go. Now. Richard, please. I just, okay, fine, fine, it's, it's fine. I'll go, I'll go. Um... What is this? I look that broke to you. You're trying to pay me off. No. Are you trying to pay me off? No, that's... Look, I know that you're angry right now, so I'll just go. I'll go. I'll come back. I love you And no one else can do Much more than you can I love Is this rubbing salt on your wound or is she paying you off? Hmm. Is she? Tom, the only thing going through my mind right now is I wish I'd listened to her. Really? Yes. I mean, she just wanted to have a conversation. What if she feels bad for what she did to me? What if she's realized that she's wrong? What if? What if what? Now, 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 where will they talk now? You've started regretting not listening to her. I thought I'm saying that girl now, you're a weakness guy. What's up? Are you, are you, are you, are you, 
think not all. I've known Angela for years. Enough to know when she's going through pain or something. There was this look in her eyes, she was disturbed. What if she's not happy? What if, what if that man treats her bad? What if it's not your business? No, tell me, what if, what if it's not your business? It is my business. It's not your business, guy. It no concern you. Whatever she's feeling or thinking about you is entirely her business, not yours. Richard, that girl is married. She belongs to another man. She, she doesn't belong to you anymore. She belongs, belongs to me. She doesn't belong to you any she, 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 Do you understand that? She does not. Get that into your head. She does not. So, what do you plan doing this morning now? At least you, go, you buy me beer now. You take like one, two, three. Guy, you go buy me. No, no, you go buy me beer. Look, the snatch from my hand, beat it. You go buy me beer, guy. Yes, yes. Since it is beer you care about, I will buy you beer. I will buy you beer. But not with this money. Okay? I don't intend to keep this. I want to return it back to her. You see? I said I want to return the money. Guy, yeah, you the mad. You the crazy. I don't swear, say. Guy, the people don't swear for you. Say you no you, you will not make it here. What is your problem? Guy, he left you. She came back, she gave you bundles of money. You're telling me you want to return it to her. Are you reasoning at all? Yes. Yes, you're not reasoning at all, guy. Focus, listen to me. See, <laughs> Look, <laughs> the love that I have for that girl cannot be quantified by money. It cannot, all of, all of this, it means nothing. Richard, how much is your love? Tell me, how much? Tell me. Guy, did they, 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 they use love by pepper proof for soup? Look at what we are wearing. Look at, look, 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 just, just, just look at us. Can we use this money now to buy better clothes for ourselves and then feed well? What are you saying? Tom, thank you for the lecture, okay? You know what, Tom? Whenever you fall in love, come back, let's have this conversation. Look, guy, you're having this conversation now. Which one, which, which one is whenever I fall in love? I'm trying to make you have sense while you're talking rubbish. What are you saying? Can you imagine this guy, you? They gave you money and telling me you're returning it because, because I'm in love. Who love help? Huh? Okay, oh, you even forgot your phone here. Since it, I'm, I'm holding this phone until you give me my own 20%. You can me go be a You may go be a I'm 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 holding on to uh, onto this phone. I, I'm in love. I've, I've been in love so many times. Rubbish. What exactly is your problem? Since you got here, you've not been yourself. What is eating you up? I'm just not excited about life anymore. I know you're not happy. Just loosen up and tell me what the problem is. Okay? I don't know. I... I am not interested in the things I love. I am not excited doing the things I love anymore. I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm just existing. But Angela, you have all the money. What else? What else? I went to see him. See who? Richard? I could not hold back. I was missing him madly and I felt terrible for no the way, things I did no, to no, him. No way, Angela. No way. No way, Angela. Just stop. Please stop it. You're now a married woman. I know, I know, I know. I just... I, I felt bad. I felt like it was unfair the way I treated Oh, Angela, him. oh, please, please, please. It's all in the past. Stop all that you're doing. Look, I told you this countlessly. I did. I told you. Before you even ventured into the marriage, I did, I told you. But you refused to listen to me. Do you know what? Let me just post your bubble. It is too late to go back now. Too late. 
Grace. Please don't call my name. Just don't call me. How can you do that? I just wanted to show you the business proposal. Right. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. It's good. Mm. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> not bad. <clears throat> so, I was hoping I could get the money this weekend. Why? Why so soon? Well, my friend is traveling from Turkey this week and I'd like to get the goods from there. Right, but you don't even have a store. No, that's okay. I'll just do online shop for now. <laughs> Whatever my baby wants. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> <sighs> well, I'll, I'll just... Well, of course. Let me... Huh? Thank you, baby. You're welcome. <laughs> <clears throat> Richard, why are you being cold towards me? I've been looking for a way to reach you. Here's the money. I don't need it. Richard, why are you acting this way? I did everything for you, for us. I was tired of watching you suffer, so I had to come up with a plan. I just wanted a better life for us. There was never a time when I told you that I was suffering or that I was poor or that I was hungry and I needed you to feed me. Richard, please calm down. You and I know that money is the greatest threat to love. I just I just wanted us to, to live a good life. I did it for us, babe. I love you, Richard. Please. Don't tell me that. Richard, please calm down. I can stand anything in this world but not you being mad at me i am not mad not you i am hurt i am very hurt that's how i feel me too babe <sighs> what is it that you want to say go ahead and say it i don't have all day i love you Stop i love you Stop. Richard, I love you so much. You are the only man for me. And yet you married another man. Richard, you were not ready to get married. and I was tired of waiting. Well, I'm still not ready. And you've got what you wanted, so what do you want from me? I still want you. Richard, I don't love Ben. Baby, I married him for the money. I swear to you, I do not have a single feeling of affection towards Benson. I don't. I married him so that 
You can start up a business with the money I will get from him and then I will divorce him. Are you insane? You, you get married to a man just because of money? <sighs> Richard, I know you. I know that if I had told you about it, you wouldn't let me. <sighs> Look, everything is for us, baby. Trust me, Ikenga is not going to settle you. You don't know that. You don't know. Fine. I agree. I don't know that. Why don't you ask him for your money? If he settles you, I promise I will stay away from you. But if he does not, you and I will work together on this plan. Deal? Babe, deal? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. <sighs> I just went to see Chief. I went to talk to him just now about my settlement. <laughs> and how how did it go? Same excuses. The same excuses. The same story he's been telling me all these years. I'm starting to think Angela was right all along. She was. Angela. Wait. You met her? I didn't meet her. She told me this a while ago while we were still together. She warned me. To think of the fact that I was making excuses for him. Oh, he's my uncle, he's my mother's brother. He wouldn't do me dirty. He's been settling other people. Why would mine be different? Hmm. Oh, wow. So, what, what are you going to do now? My mind is made up, Tom. I have to leave. 
I, I can't I can't serve him forever. I have to find my own way. And I'm very afraid, but this is a step that I have to make. Yep, that's five million naira. Um, I don't know what you plan to do with it, but I hope it is enough to start something. Yeah. Five million. There's more than enough. I don't even know how to react. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate you. It's nothing, babe. But is this right? Richard, it's not about what's right. It's about what I want. And what I want is for you to make something out of your life. So what's the plan? Do you want to start something here or another state? Oh. <laughs> Definitely another state. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. First of all, I, I need to travel and do business survey and come back and get you out of here. Okay. And promise me you will not keep me waiting. <laughs> no. <sighs> Babe, five million. Yes, five million. Do that, please, baby. Don't do that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's okay. You know I love you, right? I love you too. Come here. I will do anything for you. I will give my life. For you. And I will give mine for you. I will do anything and everything for you. to explain what this is doing in our bedroom? Um... <laughs> what? Cat got your tongue? <sighs> that, 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 that's an after pill. I know what it is, Angie. I'm not dumb. Explain. Why do you have it? You know how particular I am about kids. Why are you taking after pills? Yes. Why, Angela? What exactly is your problem? Huh? Oh, God. Angela. I do not want to have a child. Yet. That's it. Does this have anything to do with Richard? Why do you always bring up Richard in all of our conversations? 
Because I know you and I know what you feel for that guy. Chris, listen to me. It is my body. And I decide what I want to do with it. But you... I am not ready to have a child. It is that simple. I don't know why it's so hard to understand. Angela, you promised that you will never have anything to do with that guy. You did. Grace, can you just stop talking about Richard? Please, just leave him out of this conversation. Angela, I am repeating myself. Because if I ever find out that you're still in contact with that guy... What will you do? What will I do? What will you do? I was tired, but we can order from a restaurant. Tired? What were you doing all day? Nothing. Nothing? And you are tired? Yes, Benson. I am tired. What else do you want me to tell you? Listen, if you are so hungry, why don't you go into the kitchen and make something for yourself? You have hands, don't you? Really? Yes. Really. Really, Benson. I mean, who says I have to be the one to always make food for the family? We are a husband and wife. And there is no rule book that says I have to be the one to always be in the kitchen. So, if you are hungry, go fix yourself something, husband. Please. Is anything wrong with you? What is this thing Benson came to tell me yesterday? Is it that you don't want to have children? Mommy, the same Benson that came to report our lives to you should answer all of your questions now. Wait. If I was taking prevention pills, Angela, would I have taken in for you? Mother, just would I have I... conceived you? Let alone you sit back here to give me rubbish for answer. Just because I am a woman does not mean I have to be a slave to a man. This is my body. My body. And I will do with it what I want. Uh -uh. Angela, you lie. <laughs> this body belongs to Benson. Arrow Benson, Corbo. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. This is my body. And if Benson is not ready to wait until I am ready to have a child, then let him file for divorce. God forbid. What is nonsense? God forbid. Angela, I never divorced your father. So, you will never divorce Benson. And my father did not pressure you to do anything you did not want to do. You and I know that Benson is never pressuring you. Not at all, in any way. Mother, I have said this before and I will say it again. I am not ready to have a child. And if that man is not ready to wait until I want to have a baby, he should give me a divorce. I will slap that rubbish back to your mouth. Angela. I will not sit here to advise you further than this. As in Okokonti Kenezui Kenudofe, the bed that refuses to listen, 
ends up in the belly of the pot. I cannot stop you. Use your own hands and destroy your marriage. No problem. Go ahead and do whatever it is that pleases you. In fact, Angela, continue. mistake did I make to marry that man? <sighs> yes, hi. I'd like to order a plate of jollof. Yes. Some plantain and no beef is fine, thank you. You have the address? Okay, thank you. Where have you been? Um says when? Did my going out become a thing of concern? Anyway, if you must know, I was out with my girls. Your girls? Benton, you do not know all of my friends. Remember I had a life before you? Angie, I came back from work and as usual, there was nothing to eat. Were you tired again? Benson, if you want to complain about me, why don't you go ahead and report to my mother again? Since it is now proper for us to involve a third party in our relationship. You know why I went to her. Oh no, I do not know. You tell me. No, tell me that thing that we're going through in our relationship that we cannot sort out as a couple. Angie, just tell me what it is that you want me to do. And that is exactly what I'll do. You have nothing to offer me, Mr. Benson. Excuse me. What? You mean she said that to you? That's exactly what she said to me. This is serious. did I do wrong? Guy, I've been nothing but nice to her. I gave her everything. See, Benson, I know some women are in content, but I didn't envision Angela to be one of such women. Me neither. Bro, you need to see her now. She's so rude. <laughs> ah, bro, I love this girl. I love her so much. It makes me feel terrible that all these things are happening. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry to bother you with all of this, man. But I, I couldn't keep it to myself anymore. I said, make I speak up in case it's not my fault. No, you don't have to say that, all right? You, you're not bothering me. That's why we are friends. I mean, what are friends for? You confide in me, I confide in you. You just have to calm down, okay? To the best of my knowledge, you are not at fault in any way. No, 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 you are not! I'm just having these feelings that there is something she is not telling you. Yes, there is something that girl is not telling you, bro. Women. Women will stain your white. She can't say that again. The clothing line. How's it going? It's been over a month. Why are you asking? Do you want your money back? <laughs> Come on, babe. I'm just trying to have a meaningful conversation with you. From what you told me, you mentioned that a friend of yours is coming from Turkey and she was going to help you with the materials. Well, she's yet to come and the money is still with her. But if you want your money back, I can ask her to send it to you. 
You know you can explain without being sarcastic. And my brother, you can give me money without questioning me. I'm not your brother, I'm your husband. You know what? You can have both meals. Enjoy. I only asked you a simple question. Where are you going to? What is wrong? I left my dirty clothes upstairs. Can you help me put them in the machine, please? I'm really late for work. Yeah, sure. All right, thank you. I love you. Hi Grace. Hi Benson, how have you been? I'm good. You how are you good? doing? I'm fine. Thank you. <sighs> um, thank you for meeting with me on such short notice. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So how are you and how is Angie? <sighs> um, actually, I want to talk to you about Angie. Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. Oh, good. Is there something bothering her that I don't know about? You know, I mean, I met her through you and you guys have been friends for a long time. So maybe she told you something, but she's not been herself lately. You know, she's, she gets angry easily. She's constantly nagging. She comes back home anytime she wants to. She doesn't respect me. Okay, she doesn't even give me attention. So I'm just wondering, maybe there's something bothering her. Maybe there's something that I did. You know, I, I, I don't know. Anna, just relax. You've done nothing. Absolutely nothing. As a matter of fact, Angie told me that you're the most perfect man she has ever known. So what's with all the anger? Okay, you know what? I feel you should take our time, speak with her, talk to her, get to sit her down so you guys will talk. To me, Angie is okay. I'm not sure anything is wrong with her. Okay? I'm just worried. You don't have to be worried. Relax yourself. I know that Angie can be dramatic. At times she could be melancholic. She could act like she's crazy. But I know you love her and you, you, can, you can always be patient. And you know, we're women, at times mood swing or something. And you know, uh, almost, once it comes, we're up active at times, so. It's okay, I guess um, I'll figure it out myself. That'll be very good. Please do. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Always, okay. it's fine. Yeah, let me drop you off. And no one else can. Babe. Babe, why are my dirty clothes still on the bed? Oh, are they? What do you mean, are they? Don't play dumb with me. I pleaded with you to help me wash them. As your domestic staff or what? No, Angie, as my wife. Exactly. Your wife and not your domestic staff. And 
Isn't you constantly reminding me over every little thing that I am your wife is beginning to irritate me? What is it? Are you the first man to get married? Anyway, I had to do my own laundry. That is why your clothes are still on the bed. The laundry room is there. If you want to wash your clothes and you have the strength, do it yourself. I love you and no one else can do. I need you much more than you. having a tough time, honestly. But I am not making it easy on him. And I do not plan to make it easy. As a matter of fact, I plan to make his life a living hell until he gives me what I want. What is it? Nothing. I, I just feel bad for him. Angela. Angela! Angela! But you have the guts to waste money on eBay. Eh? Listen, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Be very careful with me, oh. Be very careful with me, oh. Is it not your line? Anyway. As... <clears throat> hey. How are you doing? Thomas. Gee. What's up, man? Why, no. What's up? How you doing now? I'm good. <laughs> Rich, I'm going to ask of you later this evening. What did you tell him? I told him you went to get a haircut. Then afterwards, you go to Mr. Edward's office to collect our balance. You know now, so he said, okay. Don't worry. You know my guy now. Chillax. Thank you. Yeah. 
So, um, <clears throat> I will just go down, you know, stay with the, you know, the gate man and the morning. Hmm? No, I don't. Okay. Well then. <laughs> Laters. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for everything, babe. I'll see you some other time. Some other time? What are you talking about? <laughs> you, you that I'll see tomorrow. I'm going back tomorrow now. I'm traveling tomorrow. Uh, how come you're just letting me know? Baby, it's not fair now. I'm sorry. I need to see my mom. It's okay. No problem. So, when are you coming back? Maybe in a week. In a week? Ah, oh, Richard, a week. Anyway, it's, it's fine. I guess I'll see you in a week then. Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. Okay, okay. baby. I Can love I get you. some sugar? Some sweet, sweet, sweet thing. I love you. I love you more. Okay. I miss you. I miss you too. How was your night? My head feels heavy. Sorry. What are you doing here so early? Okay. Coffee. Thank you. So you don't remember? Remember? Remember what? I met you so drunk last night. I was the one who helped you up to your room. Oh my goodness. Did something happen? Yes, something happened. <laughs> no, nothing happened. I'm just kidding. Sorry, nothing. <laughs> nothing happened. Very funny. <laughs> Imagine the fear on your face. Yeah. Nothing happened, okay? I guess so crazy. I'm drunk. <laughs> but I was scared for a minute. It's fine. Sorry. Oh, it's hey, okay. people. What's so funny? You didn't come home last night. Where were you? I'm sorry, babe. I I was at my mom's. And you weren't picking your calls. Hold on. Did you spend last night here? On my way back from work, I decided to stop by to see you. So I met him in a bad condition and I stayed back to help. Oh, I see. I guess that means I should say thank you. Yes, you should. Right. <laughs> the clothes, they fit. Excuse me. What's wrong, man? Is she okay? Are you okay? I should be the one asking you that. After all, you were the one who babysitted my husband throughout the night. So, are you okay? Really? 
Is that a thank you I get for helping your lazy ass? Grace, you will get a thank you when I actually ask for your help. Okay. Angela, you were not at home. You were not taking your calls and then at some point you switched it off. Because you kept calling. You would not stop calling. Your husband was drunk. Who cares? Whose business is it? It's not mine. It's definitely not yours. Listen to me. You cannot tell an adult what to do, okay? If that man wants to be irresponsible, who am I to stop him? And who are you to stop him? Do you know what? You have lost it completely, okay? Go ahead and do whatever pleases you. <laughs> I'm out of here. Okay. You've not said what's on your mind. Best friend or she. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you Something they worry you for head. Richard, are you aware that you are sleeping with another man's wife? Yes, I do, and I, I feel terrible. You're a terrible person. I've been thinking about it. Guy, I don't fear you. You need to chase Angela away. For your own safety. Before she puts you into trouble. That is the problem. I don't know how to. I sincerely don't know how to go about it. Honestly, that does not make sense. Because if her husband gets hold of you, he will put you into prison. And trust me, you don't have anybody that will get you out of prison. I know. Angela loves me. Okay? I'm just trying to protect her feelings. Trying to protect her emotions. I don't want her to get hurt. That is the point. You have failed to realize that Angela belongs to another man now. She is not your woman, okay? You need to call her on the phone and tell her you're no more interested. I will do it, okay? I will do it. Guys, it's not about nodding your head and telling me you will do it. Do it right now. I want you to make you, I want you, I want you to understand something. Hmm? She's not calling. Answer now, tell her you're no more interested. Do this, okay? I, I just can't. You, you, you can't do what? Angela, you're married. Okay. I have nothing to offer you. Nothing. All that we have is fantasy upon fantasy. Upon fantasy, upon fantasy. Let us end this. You're leaving me? Richard, you are leaving me. You mean you just want to throw away everything we share? I'm not throwing anything away. Your marriage to Benson took it all away. Everything. No, 
is she? Tell me the name of that bitch that wants to steal my man. Tell me. What is it? Who, what is turning you against me? I don't understand what is going on. Nothing is turning me against you, okay? <sighs> this decision is solely mine and mine alone. Angela, what I am saying is let us not allow emotions to override common sense. Richard, not now, not, not after all these years. You can't just leave me. You can't just... Throw it away like you never married. But mattered. you are married to. I am divorcing him. You did what? what? I, I don't. I don't understand. Don't be ridiculous. That was the plan. You, you, you can't divorce him. You can't. You can't. I, Angela, I know that I. I I, I know that I misled you or something, but you can't. Cancel it. Richard. Cancel it. Richard, I, I don't understand. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, that Richard? I cannot do this. That I can't. You lie. Richard, you lie. I am telling you, you're a bloody liar. After all these years, after everything, Richard, you cannot leave me. You can't. You, 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 what are you even talking about? What do you mean? <sighs> Angela, we've been on this for almost a week. And believe me when I say this is not an easy decision, but it is necessary. It is necessary because if we continue like this, we would make mistakes, mistakes that we would not be able to correct. Let us do what is right. Let us end this before we regret. Why do you say things like this? We are fighting for our love, baby, and it is not a crime. Richard, you know how much I love you. I cannot watch you leave me. I can't. And what about Benson? Does Benson not deserve to be happy? To be happy with the woman he married? Angela, traditionally you're married. Legally, you're married in the eyes of God and men. You made a vow. The consequences for these actions are grave. Let us not be selfish. Richard, you know it is impossible. I love you too much. There is nothing on the surface on this earth that can make you leave me. Don't you understand? Why do you not see this in me? Why are you so blinded by emotions that you cannot see the truth? Angela. This is sad to say, but I must be painfully honest. I am done. Hold on. Your mind is made up. You are making up your mind after everything I have done for you. After all of the money I have spent on you. Hold on. So you were actually playing me for the money. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Are you done? Do you have anything else you want to say? <sighs> so it's about the money, huh? 
Did I beg you for money? Did I ever ask you for anything? Even when you made all of this plan, was I ever involved in it? I knew one day this was going to come. I knew a day would come when you would rub all of this in my face. <laughs> you know what? I never spent a dime out of that money. I never spent a dime out of that money. And I will return it to you. But I never want to see your face again. Richard. It's I am, over. I am sorry. I am sorry. I, I, I was just angry. You know how much I love you. I, I didn't really mean all of those things. Please forgive me unless... Go back to bed. Oh, I have made up my mind. Richard. I will not have anything to do with somebody's wife. Not now. Or in the life after. Richard. 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 It's just you and I at home. Can you please tell me why you seek divorce from your husband? Mommy, I don't love him. So why did you get married to him? Was there any day I chased you out of this house with my that you must go and marry Benson? Mommy, I thought I would grow in love with him. Unfortunately, that did not happen, so I am moving on. Angela, can you hear yourself? Eh? Can you hear yourself and tell yourself you're stupid? You sound stupid. My candid advice is that you take your time not to lose a record. <laughs> Benson is a good man and he loves you so much. And let me tell you, the best thing that can happen to any woman is to find herself in the hand of a man that loves her more. Take your time. So that you don't end up destroying your own home yourself and start looking for someone to blame it on because you would definitely not get a man like Benson. Not ever. <clears throat> Don't say I did not want you. Is that all? Can I go now? It's all you can go. Okay. I'll see you another time. Listen. Think and think through before you take that nasty decision you're about to do. I do not need to think about anything. I have made my decision. <laughs> Bye. I am sure you need everything. If not, you will still come back to this house crying. Omerone <laughs> Komenu. What are you doing here? I thought we talked about this. Baby, my love, please just, we, we can sort this thing out. Please. I don't have time for this. Get out. Richard, are you asking me to leave your house? If you don't move, I will throw you out. Oh, I see how it is. So you want to leave me? Richard, you want to leave me after everything, after everything. I will kill myself. I will kill myself in cold blood. I will take my life, Richard. No, 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 I will no, die no, here. No, no, right no, now, no, I'm right no, here if you don't. Please, How can please, you say no, you want no, to no, leave no, me? No, no. We don't have to do it like this, okay? So we just sit, sit down. We can talk about it. Let's talk about it, okay? Okay? Let's talk about it, all right? Okay? There's no need for us to do this, okay? All right? We can talk about it, all right? Okay? Go on. Why did you guys stop? It's a private conversation. Nothing to worry yourself with. Right. 
Again, I have to go in the arena. It's okay. Oh, no, 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 no. My darling, please do not leave on my account. It's okay. You can stay back. Um, listen, Ben. If you like my friend here, it's okay. There is absolutely no point in hiding it. I know I don't deserve the heartache that you've caused me, but I've decided to wake up to reality. So, I'll ask you again. Is this what you want? Yes. <clears throat> yes, Ben. This is what I want. I have chosen to be with the man I love. The man my heart belongs to, and I don't think it is a crime. Chris is a wonderful person. If you're falling for her or you're in love with her, it's, it's okay. You guys can move on and have a wonderful life. Ben, um, I'm, I'm happy to do this. Grace, honestly, you are my friend, okay? And I just want you to know that I will not feel bad if you go for him. Honestly, if you like Benson, you can have him. Angela, what has come over you? Love. Love, my darling. I finally have the liberty to be with the man I love and I am taking it. Angela, are you sure this is the best for you? Are you sure you're not trading substance for shadow? Babes, I was actually living in the shadows. But now, now I, I am freely in love. Let me put it that way. Angela, I wish you the best in your love escapades with Richard. But I am emotional about Benson right now. He doesn't deserve what he's getting. Kill, you're too harsh on him. And you know you're not even bothered on how he feels. Grace, you are a woman. And you know that if a woman is not in love with a man, there is no way she can be happy with him. I mean, it is actually better I leave the marriage now than stay and make both of us miserable. It is for the best. Do you understand? So it is perfectly fine if you want Benson, really. <laughs> Angela, for the records, I feel nothing for Benson. I and I, I wish you the best, okay? Do whatever you want to do with Richard. I'm, I'm out of here. Yes. Are you really sure about this? There's nothing left for me here. I've lost the woman that I've loved for the past six years. My uncle has betrayed my trust. I think it's time I start somewhere afresh. Ease your heart. Future has something better for you. Okay. Thank you for everything. Yeah, let me get you. No, 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 let me get you. Come on, let me see you. Oh. 
This is where it ends. Alright. I miss you. <laughs> yeah, same here, man. Angela, knowing you is one of the best things that have happened in my life. But I know what love is. And that I never knew until the day I met you. But just like they say, love is not enough. And not all things are meant to be. There's no need living a lie. I can't let my love for you cover my sense of reason. I tried to make you understand, but you refused to let our memories die. I am sorry. I have left. And don't bother looking for me because you can't find me. It hurts to do this, but this is the only option. Benson is a good man. He's your husband. He loves you. Go back to him. Please forget me. I pray I find true happiness and love wherever life takes me now. Goodbye, <laughs> We didn't send you a message. Thomas, I am not stupid. Just tell me where he is. I was in our coming now. Hmm? Thomas, please. I know that you guys planned this. Just tell me where Richard is, I beg you. Angela, please. I beg you. Don't drag me into this matter. I don't know where Richard is and that's final. Do you understand? How much? For what? For this information, I need to know where Richard is. He can't just drop me like that. If you give me your money, I will spend it and still will not tell you where he is. 100,000 Naira. Do you think this is it? 200,000 Naira. Oh, shut 500,000 Naira. <laughs> Wait, do you think you have money? Oh, have you? fuck it, one million. I don't care. I don't need your money, okay? I don't need your money. Do you understand? Just get the hell out of here. Get out! Thomas, you have to help me, please. You have to, you just have to tell me where Richard is, I beg you. She can't go with this one. It means cannot be a bit. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't don't touch me. Don't just, go, just get into your vehicle and drive. Don't touch me. Don't, 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 don't touch me now. Huh? You have to tell me where Richard is, please. I, I don't even know where this gate man went. <laughs> just just do, don't, 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 don't come inside here. Don't just don't, don't come inside here. Don't be happening don't to me. Imagine. I don't know. It's not be happening to me. This can't be happening to me.
much more than you can think. I love you, and no one else can do. I need you much more. I did not want it to end like this. I had wanted a happily ever after for both of you. That's what I want. Yeah. <coughs> I... I know that... I took his love for granted. I plead with his heart. And I by myself fumbled the relationship. I need you to take care of him. He's a good man. each other for a long time all right yeah. you're my guy <laughs> my g yeah you've been my backbone you know you're, you're more than a friend to me and i know this might sound weird but i was i was wondering if we could um Hell no! No, 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 Bezo, don't even go there, don't. No, but you don't even know what I'm talking about. I know. <laughs> Just kept funny. But I know what you want to say. Okay, so if you know, then what's the problem? Bezo? You're like a brother to me. Okay, I am not your brother. I refuse to be your brother. I said you're like a... Don't ever call me anything like your brother. <laughs> Don't put me in a sentence. My name is Benson. Okay, Benson, it's fine. Where do we will start? Uh -huh. You know what? I think you're hungry. What you need now is food, not a relationship. 
Let me go fix something up for you. Today. Wait now, Grace. Ah, Just we're on talking on. serious matter. You are going to fix yeah. me food. Can I tell you yeah. I'm hungry? You're hungry. I know you too well. So be careful the way. Grace. Why are you carrying all of this to me? If you don't want me to enjoy it, who is going to end this? Grace, wait first. Let's conclude this thing, Abeg. Much more than